Buffalo, the second most populated city in New York, may not have the same fame as the city that never sleeps, but it offers an equally exciting experience for both residents and visitors. This vibrant city boasts a rich history, captivating old buildings, and stunning natural beauty. Whether you want to relax by docking your boat at a beautiful marina, exploring historic sites, or enjoying events in public parks, in this video, we'll take you through the best things to do in Buffalo, New York. First on our list is the Darwin D. Martin House Complex. Designed by the renowned architect Frank Lloyd Wright, for Buffalo businessman Darwin D. Martin, this housing complex was built between 1903 and 1905. Although some of its original buildings have been demolished, Restorian efforts have preserved its architectural beauty. Designated as a Natural Historic Landmark in 1986, the Darwin D. Martin House Complex now offers educational programs, classes, and lectures for both children and adults. To explore this remarkable site, you'll need to join a guided tour group. Next, we have Canal Side, a beautiful natural area located at 44 Prime Street. This park features chairs, benches, and a scenic walkway. In the summer, visitors can enjoy various events, while in the winter, an indoor skating rink provides winter fun. Canal Side is also home to the Harbor Center, offering shops and restaurants, and the Key Bank Center, a hockey arena. Additionally, you can dock your boat at Canal Side and enjoy the picturesque surroundings. If you're a nature enthusiast, visiting the Buffalo Erie County Botanical Gardens is a must. Situated at 2655 South Park Avenue within the 155 acres South Park, these gardens were originally open for the Pan American Exposition in 1900. Designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, famous for his work in New York's Central Park, the gardens feature a Victorian style design inspired by the Crystal Palace and Kew Gardens Palm House in England. With over 2,000 species of plants and trees, including tropical transplants and native species, the Buffalo Erie County Botanical Gardens offers a delightful experience. They also host various seasonal events throughout the year. We are Travel Punk, your travel guide around the world. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on more videos here on Travel Punk. For those interested in history, visiting the Forest Lawn Cemetery is a visual treat. This 250-acre resting place located at 1411 Delaware Avenue and founded in 1849, features majestic trees, serene water features, and picturesque walking paths. The fall season offers the best opportunity to witness the natural beauty of the cemetery. Many famous individuals have been buried here, and you can explore notable sites like the Bakker Memorial and the President Fillmore Grave site. To delve further into history, make your way to the Buffalo Erie County Naval a military park situated at One Naval Park Cove. This memorial park allows you to step back in time and explore famous ships, including the USS Little Rock, USS The Sylvans, and USS Croker. The park offers a range of exhibitions, including aircraft models and artifacts, providing a comprehensive tribute to the naval history of the region. Visitors can also experience the thrill of driving a Navy vessel through a hands-on exhibit called the Maritime Simulator. The park hosts various seasonal events and offers overnight scout encampments, as well as tours and field trips for both children and adults. Art enthusiasts will appreciate visiting the Albright Knox Art Gallery, located at 1285 Elmwood Avenue. Established in 1862 by the Buffalo Fine Arts Academy, this gallery houses a vast collection of modern and contemporary art, works by renowned artists such as Andy Warhol, Jackson Pollock, Renoir, Van Ha, Duga, and Monet are displayed, representing various artistic movements, including Impressionism, Cubism, Surrealism, and Constructivism. The gallery also offers classes and contains valuable archives with extensive information. Animal lovers shouldn't miss the Buffalo Zoo, the third oldest zoo in the United States. Founded in 1875 and situated at 300 Parkside Avenue, this zoo is home to over 1,000 animals and 320 species of plants. The Delta Sonic Heritage Farm within the zoo allows visitors to experience a petting zoo reminiscent of a 19th century farm. Other notable exhibits include Sea Lion Cove, Rainforest Falls, Otter Creek, and Arctic Edge. History buffs 
will find the Theodore Roosevelt Inaugural National Historic Site fascinating, located at 641 Delaware Avenue. This site commemorates President Theodore Roosevelt's inauguration, which took place there on September 14, 1901. Guided tours provide insights into various historical aspects of the site. The Birchfield Penny Arts Center, located at 1300 Elmwood Avenue, is another cultural landmark worth visiting. It houses the world's largest collection of works by Charles E. Birchfield, as well as art by local artists from the Buffalo Niagara region, with 16 galleries to explore, including the notable Charles Carey Rumsey Gallery, showcasing 3D art. The center offers a diverse artistic experience. If you appreciate grand architecture and live performances, Shea's Performing Arts Center is a must-visit. Built in 1926 and located at 646 Main Street, this palace, designed by Cornelius and George Rapp, has hosted legendary performers like Frank Sinatra, the Marx Brothers, and George Burns. It is a National Historic Landmark and can be visited by appointment. The opulent chandeliers, marble lined Grand Lobby, and remarkable architecture make it a truly memorable destination. Next on our list is St. Joseph's Cathedral, found at 50 Franklin Street. It's a historic building constructed in the mid-1800s under the supervision of Bishop John Tymon, the first Bishop of Buffalo, inside the cathedral. You can admire the Hook and Hastings organ and the beautiful interior. And that concludes our list of the top things to do in Buffalo, New York. We hope you enjoy this virtual tour of the city's fascinating attractions, rich history and natural beauty. Whether you're a fan of architecture, art, nature, or history, Buffalo has something to offer everyone. Before we go, here's a fun would you rather question for you. Would you rather explore the architectural wonders of the Darwin D. Martin House complex or immerse yourself in the natural beauty of the Buffalo Erie County Botanical Gardens? Let us know your answer in the comments section below. We are Travel Pug, your guide and forever travel buddy. If you enjoyed and loved this video, hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.